I'm gonna show you how to export or save a file as a PDF in Illustrator. So if I have a document here that I wanna save, I can go up to File. I do not go to Export. I actually just go to Save As. Once I'm in the Save As dialog box, I can decide where I'm saving it, what I name it, but also the format. Under Format, we can change it to Adobe PDF. When we hit Save, we get the PDF dialog box. Now there's custom PDF presets. A lot of times back in the day, I would either use this one or the high quality print one. Or if I'm doing a web PDF, I might do smallest file size, or I can actually change that over here on the left. I'll show you in a second. Now, if you want to preserve Illustrator's editing capabilities, so you could open this PDF up in Illustrator and be able to edit the document just fine, you got to check mark preserve Illustrator editing capabilities right here. Now there's some other options here that you can use if you need them. You can also change the compatibility of this file as well. Next up you have compression. This is where you could downsample images. So you could say bicubic downsampling for any images above 225 pixels per inch, make them 150 pixels per inch. This is a spot where you can adjust the quality of the PDF and maybe knock down the file size if you need to, if it's a web PDF. You'll notice when you use like smallest file size, it already sets all of these for you. But this is how you could make the file size even smaller. It lowers the quality of images, but it's kind of give and take if you're creating a smaller PDF size. I'll keep it on high quality print for now. And one thing to note here, it does downsample to 300 PPI from anything above 450, which will help for your file size and will not hurt the quality of your PDF, either viewing it online on a computer or printing it. Now next is marks and bleeds. So if you have a bleed in your document, you should check use document bleed settings if you need to. You can also add printer's marks if your printer is asking for those. Under output, you can actually do a color conversion. And so you can convert to a specific color profile if you want. That's nice if you're working with mixed objects, like there's an image that's in CMYK and then the document's actually gonna be RGB used online. You could change the entire document right here. It's an easy conversion option here in Illustrator. We have a couple other tabs over here like advanced, security, as well as just a quick summary of everything that's happening. And then once you save that PDF, it's going to be on your desktop or wherever you saved it. And if you've saved a PDF from InDesign before, you might have recognized that entire dialog box. It's the same exact dialog box. If we included preserve Illustrator editing capabilities, we can actually open that PDF back up in Illustrator and make edits and just resave it. Uh, but that's how you export or save a PDF here in Illustrator.